Hello. Uh, welcome to some movement. Um, this is hopefully 10-15 minutes of just mobilising, moving, getting all the major joints worked, getting a little bit of space into the spine, a little bit of activity into the core. Uh, it's suitable for everybody, all levels of fitness, um, pre, postnatal, whatever stage you're at, you should feel some benefit from moving with me this afternoon. So grab a mat, grab a space and get yourself comfortable. We are going to come onto all fours and we're going to draw yourself down nice and slowly, knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders and just take a little gentle rock side to side, finding your weight balance across all four points of contact. Try to spread the fingers, think about lifting up nice and high out of the shoulders and the chest. Give me a little scoop of the belly up and in towards the base of the spine, give it a nice high flat back. We're going to roll through a little cat cow movement, so as you breathe in, I want you to dip the belly down with the tail lengthening back behind you and almost pull the heart forward between your arms. Feel the stretch through the front of the body and then breathe out. We're going to scoop the belly, tuck the tail in underneath, draw the head in between your arms, lift towards your thighs, find a range that works for you. I need to really lift the spine to the ceiling, maybe switch it on the deep core in this one. Breathe in as you roll through the joints of your shoulders, lift the heart, pull the tail. And then breathe out as you round and mobilize the spine. So finding that space in the joints, scoop in the belly, control, roll, get all the creaks and cracks out. One last time, round up, arch the back, really scoop the body, pull the shoulders away from the ears. And then we're going to draw down into neutral spine, somewhere in the middle of those positions. Nice long spaces if I'm pulling through the crown of your head to your tailbone, keep it a little lift up through the belly. You're going to breathe in, press the weight back as much as you can, and then breathe out as you pull forward, slightly forward of the shoulders and the hands, and then slowly draw back and slowly draw forward. So nice slow movement, just bringing the weight through the hands and forward and backward movement. Last two. Last one. And then drawing back into that neutral position. We're then going to really slowly bring the right leg forward to where the hands are. So whatever maneuver you need to do to bring the right foot forward. And when you have the right foot on the outside of the right hand, you can come to the fingertips if you need to, or take it right down towards the palms. You're going to breathe in as you lengthen back, straight into the right leg. Reach the arms a little bit further forward and then breathe out as you draw forward on the left hip. So nice and slow, rock back, lengthen through the right leg and then nice and slow as you pull forward through the left hip. So just taking your time here, finding that space, finding that length, control forwards and control back. Getting space in the glutes, the hamstrings, the hips. Last two. And then last one. Slowly bring it back over the shoulders and the wrists. And then really carefully taking that right leg back to join the left again. Find your four point position and then taking the left leg forward. Again, working out what feels best for your body and your hips. Bring the foot to the outside of the left hand. Slowly pull back into the right hip, straightening the left leg. Maybe walk the hands a little further forward and then draw forward with the right hip. Feeling the space into the hip flexor. Control back. And forwards. Breathe in, all the pops, all the little creaks, breathe out. Last two. And last one. Draw them back, shoulders over the wrists. Really carefully taking the leg back, 
finding your four point position again. I want you to open your knees out a little bit wider, so really try to find the, the width of your mat, and then really slowly sinking back into that child's pose. Lift the chest, pull the heart forward, and then roll forward into the hands, draw the hip bones down towards the floor. Breath in. Maybe walk the hands out a little bit further here, look forward, and then breath out, roll forward. Slow and controlled again, space into the arms, length through the spine. Squeeze the glutes as you pull the hips forward and slowly scoop the belly back. Last two. Roll. Last one. Everything's creaking. And then back together. Walk the knees back together. Bring your hands back and underneath the shoulders. So if you're happy enough to stay on the wrists on this one, you can. If you need to, you can take it down onto the forearms. Little bit of work in the legs here. We're not here for too long. I want you to really lift into the core. Set the shoulders down and stabilize the body here. We're going to lift the right knee off the ground just a couple of inches. And then really slowly, we're opening out to the right side. Really slowly as you draw back together. You can rest the knee here or you can keep it hovered and we go again. Open and close. And what you'll really notice is the weight pressure starting to change from hand to hand. Try to keep the hands pushing evenly into the ground, keep the shoulders level, breathe out as you lift, switching on through the core on the opposite side. Last three. Exhale, hard to breathe. Last two. And then last one, rise up. And then slowly lower down for me. Lovely work. I want you to then take the right leg out to the side. And we're going to slowly sink back into that lovely stretch. Taking the weight off the hands. Draw forward and back. Weight comes out of the wrist as you sink back for two. Exhale up. Almost at three. Last one. And then back to the top again. You're then going to take your right arm and I want you to lift and open up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, I want you to slowly rotate nice and gently, just reach through and under. So not a huge amount of rotation, especially if we are pregnant. We are opening the chest. Breathe out as you gently rotate through and feel the stretch through the hip on the right side. Exhale. Last one, big open, big stretch through and under, and then back with the hand and back with the knee. Go really slow in those transitions, take your time, feel out the hips. So moving into the left side, weight even across the hand, shoulders over the wrists, hover up the left knee. You can take your time as your pelvis adjusts. Keeping the core strong, you're going to exhale, lift to the left side, notice the weight difference on the hands, and inhale as you control lower. You have the option to rest every time, or if you want to keep the knees hovered, you can. Lift, control lower. I want you to really go slow and feel the shakes on the way down here. Really feel the muscles switch on into that lower phase. Breathe out, breathe in. Imagine my hands on the shoulders here, pulling them down, pulling you level. Last three. Lift the belly, strong center. Last two. And then last one. Slowly lower and relax. I'm going to do a little turn around so I have enough space here. But you're taking that left leg out to the side of you. So the left leg comes out to the side. Nice wide position. We come into those little sit backs. So breath in as you sit the weight back onto the right heel. Maybe walk the hands a little bit further and then breath out, pull back and forward. Nice and slowly, inhale. Lengthen the sides of the back and exhale, pull forward. Each time you come back, take a bit of pressure off the wrists. Open up through the thighs. And then last time, Draw it back, shoulders over the wrists, find that little three-point position. We're going to open the left arm up and open to the left side, reach to the ceiling. 
Breathe in and then breathe out as you wrap around, thread the needle, gentle, gentle twist again, especially if you're pregnant. If you're not, you might want to go a little bit more into it, but more about feeling the stretch through the inner thigh on the left side. Breathe in, lift, breathe out, rotate. Feel like you're really opening up the hip on that stretch round and lift. Enjoy the openness through the chest, enjoy the stretch through the mid back. Feel like the left hip is almost drawn down towards the floor. Last two. Exhale. My arms always want to do these weird, funny dancer things. I don't know why. Reach. Let's do one more. Reach it through. Draw it back into the centre. Hands level. Really slowly look, bringing the left leg back in underneath the hips. And then let the knees open up that little bit wider again. Taking the weight back onto your heels, let the knees open up that little bit more. Let yourself soften into it. So walk the hands out in front of you. Let the forehead rest onto the floor. Let the tummy, the body just rest on into the middle of the thighs. If you need a bit of support on this one, you might want to be at the edge of the sofa or with a little block underneath the hands to give you a little bit more height. Let the elbows rest down. Let the body just melt into the floor as the knees open up that little bit wider. Stretching out through the sides of the back, a breath in. We rest the forehead down, exhale. Slow inhale. And exhale. Really carefully bring the hands back in underneath the shoulders. Walk the knees back together. Draw yourself back to your four point position. I just want you to tuck your toes in underneath nice and gently and then carefully slowly lift the knees up, pressing the hips up high, bringing yourself into a gentle downward dog. We're then going to soften the knees as you walk the hands towards the feet, let the body hang heavy and really, really slowly roll up one vertebra at a time as slowly as you can as you bring the blood back through the system. Let yourself stand. My head's probably got cut off. <laughs> Come up nice and tall. Roll out the shoulders. And again, big roll. Roll out the wrists. And well done. Hopefully you feel nice and mobile now. 